Good afternoon, everybody. Duke Care Blue Tarp Hill, Friday, I believe, March 11th. We'll do a quick video. It's it's a beautiful day up here. A little windy. You'll probably hear the wind on the video. But um, it's about 60 something out. Actually, we are. They're calling for two to three inches of snow uh, tonight and through tomorrow. Just kind of messes up the production of the mountain this weekend but uh, needless to say that today is a good day you know so I've taken advantage of it because I want to do this video because I was able to accomplish something today that I have not been able to do since I have bought this property you know and even since construction began over the last couple of years I've never been to this point and today we got there so I want to do a video on this particular thing because I promised my beautiful Hunnabun that I would make sure that she had a garage big enough that she didn't have to worry about hitting the walls. She had plenty of room to get in and out, open up all the car doors, and we can have a Chinese fire drill in our garage if we wanted to. And I told her that's what I was going to give her, and I'm hoping with... I've accomplished today will give her a better insight of what I was talking about. It's pretty cool. So, what happened today that's different is I was able to get my truck in our garage. That's pretty cool. Now, there's still some gravel that needs to go in there, and quite a bit of it, but right now, there's enough to, to get my truck in that garage. Now, what I can tell you is my truck does not fit at all in our current garage. And even if it did lengthwise, which it doesn't, you wouldn't even be able to open up the doors. Not at all. We tried it. You know, and pulling Hunnabun's truck in there, you know, she drives a, an 05 Armada. You know, it's a big, bulky truck, has the hatch on it. You know, you have inches just to get beside the mirrors and stuff. And she's done great. She hasn't hit it at all. But, man, getting in and out of that vehicle. So, that will be my bay. And as you can see, the amount of room we have. We have a bump out here. have a couple windows in that section. Right here along this back wall will be where the power line, uh, where, I'm sorry, the power boxes go. You can see there's room in there. And um, I'm still about six feet from where the garage door will be. The garage door will be right there between that end, out toward the front edge. And I'm about six feet in there of, of the, the bay. So, you know, that's not going to be an issue. So... Um, there's approximately 32 tons of gravel in this section right here, but, uh, I mean, it is what it is. It's got to happen. But as you can see, you know, this one will, you know, the, the concrete comes all the way up to that edge, you know, so that'll be concrete off. Look here, man. Oh, wow, man. We can get in and out the truck. No issues, but here's the, I wanted to show this so I could explain the next phase. So, you can see my bay, you know, the garage bay starts, door starts right there and comes to this point, okay? It's approximately nine feet, I believe. Hunnabun's Bay starts here so let's try to scale this i don't know if i can so finger width okay move the finger down there's where that finger is uh i'm jealous she got a bigger bay than i do so there's there's the length of my finger in between the garage door i started at that bay and her bay doesn't stop until all the way down here Okay, something else that you also see, see the bump out, it's an additional three feet longer. So, when she pulls in, 
we have, I think it's about 22 feet. Maybe it's 18. I, I don't remember. Don't hold me to that. Of distance in between, you know, her her door. And then it's like 30 some feet back. So based on my truck actually being longer than hers, when she pulls in, if she gives herself walk room of about three feet in the front of the truck, her truck's going to probably stop probably somewhere in this range right here. Okay, so if you kind of scale that, there's where the, the framing is going to be to where you walk into the house. Okay, so we're going to walk into a mud room here, and then right about this area here will be a pantry. Um, elevator just on the other side. I'm pretty sure. Yep, so there's the elevator pad right there. So when you walk in this door, this would be mud room or the pantry, and the elevator door is right in the middle. So if there's any groceries or uh, things that she's getting or I'm getting that's got to go up or down, it's right here, right, right ready for us to go up to up and down the either floor. And then this bay is massive. Um, I can't, I can't say enough about how excited I am to actually get my truck in here, and I can't wait till, till Hannibal come up and actually pull hers in. It, it, it'll make all the difference in the world. Uh, this particular bay, which is the same size bay as the one my truck is in, this particular bay, same size garage door, the only exception is I have a bump out in behind mine where the electric panel goes, and this one does not. Not a big deal, because what we plan on doing is... Put it in a walk-in cooler and a walk-in freezer that's accessible when, when she opens up the back of her car, which would be way back here, plenty of room, pull stuff out, and then just go into the walk-in cooler freezer with, uh, with the groceries or whatever it may be, um, you know, and make life easier. At least that's, that's the goal. Um, at any rate, I wanted to... Uh, you know, share this and let my honey bun know I did did as promised. I'm I'm getting her that big garage, and there's proof of it right there. And she knows that I cannot fit my truck into our current bay. You know, so pretty cool. All right, well, I appreciate y'all watching the video. I'm actually going to scoot on over into the woods. For probably the rest of the day where we brought the main power in back several weeks ago and uh, knocked some trees down log some of that stuff out to try to dress it up a little bit and try to get some uh, grass or clover or something to grow in there this season to give us some erosion control got other things going on to widen the pond uh, the man-made pond uh, making it probably double the amount of size and uh, we're also clearing, you know, a bunch of trees out there. Uh, you can see the stuff just make it a little bit more open and less woody, you know. So, uh, at any rate, I'm going to get busy on that. Thanks for watching. If you haven't yet, please like, share, and subscribe. It would mean a lot to us. And other than that, God bless. Thanks for watching. Blue Torpedo, Life on the Mountain. I love it. Goodbye.